And we're back, guys, on a Town Hall 10, and welcome to my office. If you guys haven't seen the new office just yet, check out the videos where I actually worked on this place and made it awesome. Link for that is down below in the description to my second YouTube channel. But, guys, we're back on the Town Hall 10. We're still rocking the Queen Charge Valkyrie dive with some P.E.K.K.A. thrown in there. And, of course, um, you know, Baby Dragon cleanup stuff. You, you need all these little pieces. I, I personally prefer, like, simple strategies. But this attack strategy is probably my favorite Town Hall 10 attack strategy, to be honest. So let's go um, upgrade some stuff, actually, because I've got max loot. Um, and then we will do something else. Let's first look at this giant bomb, I think. Yes, it is maxed out. I don't know if that was the question. It's been a while since I've filmed um, on this account, just because I've been busy with other accounts and things. But you know what? Let's put the, that giant bomb right over there. And I've got a lot of things that I need to do to spend some loot, okay? First things first, I have no walls, so I can't like, I've already maxed out my walls, so I can't dump loot into uh, into them. So I'm either gonna spend Elixir or Dark Elixir. I think, didn't I upgrade the P.E.K.K.A. last episode? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. That means that, the, uh, I, I always forget that, but Town Hall 10, you get two P.E.K.K.A. upgrades. So let's upgrade it again. Five million Elixir, there you go. Now, that means that I've got a lot of extra Dark Elixir. Uh, that's not exactly a bad thing, it's just, you know, I have a lots of lots of ammo, lots of resources, right, for, for cooking up armies. Let's upgrade this Archer Tower and this cannon. It's going to spend a bit of gold for us. And remember, we're still quite a ways away from, from them actually joining the ranks of the others. So now, I, I probably shouldn't have collected those collectors and mines, but that's totally cool. Now let's go do a raid. Let's go catch some bases. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a couple of bases that are uh, monsters. And I don't care if they're super strong or not. What I really care about is... I mean, okay, let's just be honest. It, I'm not... I don't need a lot of loot. Like, I have got enough loot to use up all my builders. And I have no way to dump excess loot. So, this is just going to be for funsies. So, you know what? I'm going to find some fun bases to attack. Like that one. Like, that. this one actually will work out great. Yeah, okay, let's take... This one's got good loot, too, actually. I just... I was looking at the the design but uh yeah this is gonna actually be a good one so the the double walls on the outside of this one's a problem so let's come in from um this is probably the best direction or you know what i've got a wall wrecker you know what it's gonna all work out all right so queen um uh, get in there and begin this process okay let's see which way she's gonna go let's just determine the the strategy based on the queen which don't we always do that right um i'm actually hoping that she will go up if she goes down, uh, she's going to be contending with the sweepers a little bit more. But, I mean, she's going to hit a sweeper either way. So, it's all good. Queen, here, here's my guess. She's going to go down, and we're going to have to send some stuff in, in front of her like so. Yes. Okay. So, King, let's do uh, let's drop the P.E.K.K.A. out there. And um, let's also put the... Trying to turn off my AC. There we go. Uh, let's put the Wall Wrecker forward. And I've got some wall breakers as well. So I'm going to pop the queen's, uh, uh, throw down the uh, the wall breakers for the queen. And I'm also, if I can get the, no, it's not going to work out. Okay, so let's drop a, a rage spell and then get the Valkyries in there. King's ability and then freeze over the infernos, okay? Rage and heal. I'm also going to get ready for, with a poison on the king and perhaps another rage. But let's watch. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the Valkyries over here. Let's raise them up over there. Um, so we had a really nice start, right? Uh, the queen decided to, here, let's, let's freeze over that so that the healers can stay alive there. Um, we had a really good start, right? With the queen, just, just wait. All right. The last thing you want to do is be too, too impatient with your queen, right? You want to make sure that you know where she's going to go, where she's going to end up. And that's exactly what we saw. So after determining which way she was going to go, um, putting uh, putting the king, the P.E.K.K.A., the wall wrecker, everything through, really, really worked out. And it, it was lucky, but we got that wall wrecker to break through this compartment here so that the Valkyries would have somewhere to go. Because uh, the wall breakers failed at the, at the beginning of the attack. So what that means is that um, the Valkyries had somewhere to go, we got into the core, dropped the Rage spell, got a couple of freezes on the single targeting Infernos, and you think, theoretically, that a single Inferno against a Queen Charge is the best bet, but it actually isn't, because all you gotta do is freeze it, and then you're done. You don't have to worry about it, especially if you got Rage spells on, on Valkyries. That is a dominant attack strategy right there. Okay, so 
that was awesome. Uh, we ended up with over 680,000 gold and elixir and 5,500 dark elixir. So let's collect the, not collect, uh, request for some CC troops. I've already maxed out my gold pretty much. So, and also don't forget, we have a treasury. So we, we have too much loot. For the first time ever, we have too much loot. That's insane. Thank you to Darkened Sky for the bowlers and free spell. Where am I at? Yeah, yeah. So I've already got the, oh, I've got everything I need. Yeah, I mean, I can't make my own wall wrecker, so that would kind of be nice if somebody do, uh, wanted to donate me a wall wrecker. Uh, okay, next, let's upgrade. Have I done any of these arch towers level 13 yet? I don't remember now. It, Like I said, it's been a little while. Yeah, I have. I've done one. There it is. Okay, so let's do another one just to spin the loot. Throw it across the map. We'll just set it up there. This is very disorganized, but don't worry about it. It's okay. And then uh, I'll be right back once I get my wall wrecker, and then we'll go wreck another base. I'm actually thinking it may be cool to take on a Town Hall 11, but I'm not going to be picky if I find something really good. So by the way, guys, pro tip, if you see that training potion is there and it's free, either use, and, and, and you can't collect it, right? Mine's grayed out. That means I've got too many training potions. So either use a training potion or go ahead, go into your training items or your magical items and sell one for 10 free gems and then collect your free training potion. There's no reason why you shouldn't do at least one of those two options. So I determined that I didn't want to wait. So no wall wrecker, which is a big problem with this attack strategy but it is something that i do want to cover is that you can do this attack strategy without a wall wrecker uh, ideally you'd bring a jump spell i'm not bringing one because a raged group of valkyries can break through pretty much any wall any wall you're going to run into a town hall 10. so let's um let's try to find a base that's not too hard to beat uh without a wall wrecker but really let's look for something that's just got a, a decent amount of loot and ideally something that doesn't like like this right here with the sweepers pointing in a certain direction that way they're avoidable lots of little wall compartments all in one little spot a rage spell will cover pretty much from maybe not the outside wall but it'll pretty much cover everything toward the town hall um so the valkyries will be able to do all kinds of damage so what i'm going to do is look at the sweepers are pointing outwards like so so let's put the queen down here, basically right on the corner, all right? And I'm gonna watch. I suspect that there's gonna be some traps and stuff down here at the corner, but if we, yeah, we got the uh, Archer Tower dead. Um, let's put a baby dragon on either side. Just, I don't have any balloons, so I don't have any coconut loons, as they say, uh, but I do wanna just make sure that I don't have any Seeking Air Mines in the way. So there we go. See, there was a there was a Seeking Air Mine. I'd rather it take out my my baby dragons than my um, my healers. So, okay, so the queen's going to go to the right, which is fine. I don't really care which way she goes. Let's put the P.E.K.K.A. and the king and a few wizards. And then let's drop a few wall breakers as well, just to make sure everybody decides to go in. Um, my queen can actually access the air defense. So this works out nicely. The enemy queen is gone. So that's awesome. Let's drop a rage spell. The queen is struggling here. She's having to deal with an expo. I didn't see that. Um, another seeking air mine kills a healer. That's terrible. And now let's drop some Valkyries, okay? I've also got some bowlers. Let's go ahead and deposit those. I'm going to drop a Rage and a Heal just because there's a lot of splash damage. There's multi-infernos and things, and it's a terrible thing. So uh, drop a Freeze way out there. The Valkyries will go all the way toward the core, and now I don't really care which way they go. They can go wherever they want as long as they go somewhere. <laughs> so, as long as they go somewhere, I don't care. Oh, that's great. Uh, let's uh, let's freeze over that. Poison the king. The healers are helping out with the Valkyries and the bowlers and all that stuff. The uh, air defense goes down. I do have a minion. I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. Let's drop some wall breakers out here. And also, I'm going to put the wizards down for this cannon just to, just to help out. Why not, right? Good job, wizards. Uh, drop the uh, archers over there. There is a... Wow, there's a builder hut that actually survived. <laughs> How did that happen? Um, and then the queen has a healer. Not very many, but... Has has a healer and we'll start working on this little compartment so let's drop uh, pop the queen's ability there and see where she ends up she's probably about to go for that cannon on the right if i had to guess yeah there we go nice so that my friends if you look yep that my friends is going to be a three star without a wall wrecker see it can be done and that that base had infernos and everything so that was pretty good um i am pleased with that lots of loot and uh 
I mean, 26 trophies. It doesn't, doesn't, I'm obviously not caring about trophies. I'm just in Crystal League, but still pretty cool. So uh, now, guys, let's let's decide what else we're going to upgrade. First of all, is the skeleton trap maxed out? No, it's not. Interesting. Oh, I put it there because I couldn't see where the other ones were. Oh, there's bombs right there. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be upgrading the Seeking Air Mines anyway, but I'm, I'm focusing mostly on Archer Towers right now. So let's upgrade at least one more. I'm going to put it with the other one and then take a look at what we got left. Okay, so we got Archer Towers. I like focusing on air targeting stuff first. So uh, we have Archer Towers, we have Cannons, Bomb Towers, Seeking Air Mines, Skeleton Trap Bombs, uh, spring traps, giant bombs, and mortars, and then elixir collectors. Uh, but I, again, I'm focusing on air stuff, so let's go ahead and do another archer tower. Bam! And there you have it. Like I said, there's no way to dump excess loot, so I'm not going to worry about trying to collect treasury. I'm not going to worry about the loot cart. I've got all this excess loot sitting around, and it's actually safe in the loot cart. Um, nobody can steal it from you. Like, people coming in and attacking you they can't even see the loot card so it works out works out to your advantage to leave it in there if you're able to so there you go guys laboratory done um a whole bunch of archer towers still working on the um the the new defenses and we're really rounding the corner on finishing up the town hall 10 which is pretty awesome because then we get to move on to town hall 11 which is always uh, a fun thing having a warden with this attack strategy with the Valkyrie dive, with the P.E.K.K.A., it's pretty sweet stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you won the giveaway from Supercell with the code that showed up randomly on the screen down below. Uh, you can find the redemption link if you found that first down below in the description. Let me know in the comments if you won. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.